Hey, what up, Z Clan, and everybody else? Welcome to my Fallout 76 100% to find outfit video. Now, in today's video, we're gonna cover the prisoner Kalar, which I was supposed to do a long time ago, but I kept forgetting about this outfit. Now, this outfit you can find just a whole bunch of them if you just visit the uh, Eastern Regional Penitentiary. So, in this place, I already covered it. Uh, you can also find the military fatigues. So, what you gotta do is just uh, gotta come to this gym area over here and just enter this door right here. So once you enter this door, uh, the easiest way to find a lot of them, by the way, if you haven't been in this place you will need some hack hacking skills, sometimes you'll need one, two, or even three. But as I said, if you look around in this area you will be able to find them, a lot of them. So you need to enter this door right here and bam there you go I already opened this door but it asked me to open it again so let's quickly do it together uh, let's take off the nerf rage where is my hackers there we go oh we got some uh, cab same comments all right that's gonna take a while I'm not a super professional oh, come on why I'm leading you to this place is because it has the most uh, prisoner collars ever. You can like find, I don't know, seven of them in just one spot. Thank you. There we go. Open the door. Thank you. And uh, you will find the prisoner collar right here. Right there. So I'm actually picking up everything here. Just loading this place up clean. And right here, over here, you're gonna have a lot of them. I already picked them up, unfortunately. So, that is like the easiest way how to get the prisoner Kalar. Well, you need the hacking skills, but without hacking skills, you can go through the another entrance and you can still get to this room. Besides, if you, I recommend because I pretty much do this on a daily basis, I loot this place entirely, especially when they're mutants, and then I scrap everything and I get a lot of cool materials. So, this is why. I, one of the biggest reasons I come here. Plus, uh, I'm also checking out uh, if there are a lot of caps here. As you can hear that pinging over there on the background, that's my <clears throat> fortune finder. And he is indicating that there is some caps. I remember before the updates, there were a lot of cap stashes here. So, I haven't been in this place for a while since I was playing Fallout Exodus. <laughs> and now I just gotta check everything again, huh? Alright guys, so I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, don't forget to leave your like, leave your comments down below. And uh, let me know if there is some specific outfit that I didn't cover yet so I can start looking for it. So, remember these are 100% defines. Sometimes, like with the Forest Scout gas mask, I messed up over there. It's uh, because it's from a vendor. It, it has a really rare uh, time to pop. That's probably the only video where I messed up. But all other videos, I triple check the actual location find. So, for example, if I covered something with a merchant, make sure that someone have in mind that someone has might have already bought it. So you need only need to server hop. So that's like that. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the show and if you did, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.